When Joanne Milne heard sound for the first time in her life, an emotional video of the moment touched millions of people around the world. At the age of 39, she underwent major surgery and her life changed when she heard another person's voice. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> This is the moment that changed Joanne Milne's life, and it's been watched online by nearly nine million people. I'm very high. Very high. After nearly 40 years of not hearing, she heard for the first time in March last year after having cochlear implants fitted. Could you hear those words? <laughs> Joanne has a rare condition called Usher syndrome and has been profoundly deaf since she was born. The surgical implants have opened up a whole new world of sounds, music and laughter. It's all right. She came in to see me a little bit earlier on and we talked about her first 11 months with hearing and a book she's written called Breaking the Silence. Jo, lovely to see you. Thank you. Describe to me that moment that so many people have seen now when you heard for the first time. It told me it would be life changing. It was just life had changed in that moment. You may have to think that was 11 months ago, and even now when I see that video, I could cry again, because it was just so emotional. Had you tried to imagine before that what it would like to be able to hear? In a very naive way. I always thought that being able to hear was just like turning up my hearing aid more of a higher volume. And it turned out that I didn't know anything. Just... And in the 11 months since then, mm -hmm. what things have you learned to enjoy and what things have you learned that you, you don't really enjoy in the world of hearing? There's been lots of evidence saying that I'm enjoying more things than I'm not enjoying things. Because obviously I'm enjoying being able to hear people's voices, music. And things that I probably don't enjoy, and probably I've become to realise that the world is not that serene place. That it's somebody who was deaf, I think I was blissfully unaware of the bad side of sound. So for an example, when you have people being impatient, like sort of like drivers and they're honking the horns and people shouting and spitting comments. I think that's probably the part that I'm a bit, mm, is this what the, the world is like? And, it, um, yeah. It's interesting you mention voices because mm -hmm. people who live in the land of the hearing and always have done will be surprised maybe yeah. that you have a, an accent, you have a northeastern accent yeah. when before you couldn't hear anybody's yeah. accent. Why is that? And that's because at the end of the day I'm still a Geordie. <laughs> yeah, it's because I can't get away from that. It's hardwired, yeah, it's it inside, is. yeah. It's, um, it, I do understand why people think that, but obviously um, through speech therapy and watching the pattern, if you like, it, it's amazing how you do pick up a dialect. I mean, my family are Geordies and friends are Geordies, so I've copied up them, obviously from being a little girl. And do I do have a, a Jodie accent, <laughs> yeah. But I know in the book, and you've got lots of friends who helped you with this, yeah. but some friends of yours put together a playlist for you yeah. of songs, a song for every year that you've been alive yeah. and hadn't been able to listen to. Loads of famous names in there. Mm -hmm. Prince, Kate Bush, Nirvana, Pulp. But you picked this one, which you're going to have a listen to now, Elbow, One Day Like This is your favourite. Let's just have a reminder of it. Such a great song. I mean, I mean, many people love it. Why this one in particular when you heard it for the first time? I think you could ask anybody that about music, why that one in particular. I just feel that connection with that song. In particular, when I hear the violin play, I mean, like the hairs just stand up, it's just absolutely beautiful. Yes. Now it must have give it must give you so much more of an appreciation of being absolutely. able to listen and a wider appreciation of the world around us. Oh, well, absolutely. Um, I would always, always appreciate this, but you have to remember the reason why I got the cochlear implant in the first place is that I actually have a condition called Usher syndrome. Yes. Which means that as well as being deaf, I'm actually going blind. So, obviously, I'm appreciating this more than anything because it, may, it has improved the quality of my life absolutely incredible. So I would always appreciate this, and I will for the rest of my life. It's been, it's my miracle, it's just life-changing for me, yeah. The story is a fantastic one. I'm not yeah. surprised you've put it down in a book. 
and we're so glad you could come in to talk to us today. Thank you, Good to see you. Okay, thank you.